Two of the so-called Gang of Five Cincinnati Council members have now testified before a grand jury about possible criminal conduct. The question right now is whether because of that council will still be able to do the job the people elected them to do. So nine on your side's Tom McKee is looking into that part of the story. He's live with how three council members view their own future. Tom? Well, the text, of course, allegedly violated Ohio's open meeting laws. Some of them were turned over to a citizen watchdog group, but a judge ordered them all to be released, even those with some possible shocking language. Well, that's under appeal right now, but in the meantime, this grand jury was impaneled to take a look at, as you said, possible criminal conduct by the so-called Gang of Five. Wendell Young is used to publicity, but not this kind, appearing before a Hamilton County grand jury for allegedly deleting text messages a judge wanted to see. They related to Young, Tamaya Denard, Greg Landsman, Chris Seelbach, and P.G. Sittenfeld, texting about former city manager Harry Black as a group and among each other. Some of them allegedly contained strong language. Landsman testified before the grand jury as well and painted a picture of hyper-partisanship in Washington coming to Cincinnati. I believe that it's absolutely politically dri driven. That doesn't mean that people didn't make mistakes. That doesn't mean that I didn't make a mistake. I mean, you know, I said when it happened, it was a mistake. But Landsman downplayed the impact he thinks the investigation will have in the months ahead. I'm an optimistic person, and my sense is that this too shall pass, and that we'll continue to work well together. I think we have. Um, uh, for the most part. Minority member Amy Murray says that's an admirable goal, but possibly hard to achieve. I think since this new council started early on, there has been a lot of dysfunction and people have not gotten along. And early on when we had meetings, it was obvious that, you know, people had been talking and making decisions within a group outside of council. Jeff Pastor, also in the minority, is on the fence over whether council can come together to get the people's business done. The speculation about what's in those texts has already led to ill will. Uh, uh, some of the rumors that I've heard are, are troubling uh, and hurtful. Uh, however, I think that we have a job as members of city council uh, to kind of put those things to the side. I asked Tamaya Denard for comment, but she declined and got into a city hall elevator and left the building. Now there are questions about Denard's text as well. She claims that her phone fell into some water. We'll see how that all plays out. It's not known when Denard, Seelbach, and Sittenfeld will testify before the grand jury or if any charges will come about from this investigation. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live at Cincinnati City Hall downtown.